Kayla, please like and subscribe. So school, back to school. To prove to my dad that I'm not a fool. Hmm. Thanks, Caleb. This one's for you this week. You're welcome. So, do you have faith in our school system? Yeah. Do you think that where the kids really get an education or an indoctrination? So, yeah. so you're talking about, are you going to show anything? I got a video, yeah. Okay, I won't say anything then, because I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I think you should show the video first. All right. It's good. I actually have seen it, not because he showed it to me, but we Caleb sent it to me, I think. And yeah, this it was is, actually a really good video. This is, yep, this is all Caleb. Whoa. All right. <laughs> all you, Caleb. You want me to throw me up there? Yeah. There we go. Study that was I was waiting until the video. And it was really um, uh, commissioned by NASA because they wanted to know how to hire more geniuses. So they hired George Land and his team to go out and figure out, like, what makes a genius. So they started with a group of five-year-olds, and they gave them a creativity test. So the way they defined genius was, how do you use your creative imagination to solve problems? And what they found was, of this group of five-year-olds, 98% qualified as geniuses. Then they came back five years later when this group was 10 years old, and it was down to 30%. Five years later at 15, it was down to 12%. And then I think they just kind of gave up and like discussed. But George Land took it further and went out and surveyed adults and found that only 2% of adults. And the thing that's also very interesting is he attributed this to school, 100% to school, that you would take a population, 98% genius, and dumb them down to 2%. And one of his quotes that I love is he said, uncreative behavior and thinking is learned. Mm, we've lost our creativity. But they used to say that was a sign of a genius. Mm -hmm. Someone who's creative. creative and a little chaotic, a little, you know, unorganized. They used to say that was a sign of a genius. Hmm. But now the kids go to school and they're told what they should be. And they're not allowed to be who they really are. They're kind of herded into a, a direction well the whole no child left behind initiative where you teach down to the uh i don't know what the right word is not smartest kid i don't want to say dumbest kid but at some level that's what we're talking about you're not challenging the intelligent kids because we can all agree not everybody's the same intelligence right because i will tell you a guy that spent you know obviously as much time in school as you guys did when we were kids to a guy that now has spent seven years as a school board member but also as a high school basketball coach mm -hmm. in general if you were to take both groups of people the kids that are coming out of high school today are not as intelligent as the one as intelligent as the ones that came out when we were in school they don't know how to think for themselves they are used to everyone telling them what to do and they don't. And, and listen, it's not just a school thing. I think it's a parent thing too. They are, they are so wrapped up in instant gratification. I think a lot of that has to do with social media and the phones and things like that, mm -hmm. that it mm -hmm. is, it is different. Hmm. You know, it used to be exciting for me when I would see kids graduate high school and this and that. Uh, there's some kids out there now that I'm kind of scared to see graduate because I'm not sure what they're going to do when they get out of that building. I just don't yeah. know how much of it is a school and how much of it is, is that just a way that they teach kids now. So it's here's the thing. Um, I also do firmly believe that, oh, say hi to Phoenix. Hey, Phoenix. <laughs> the bird is behind me. And so That's he's like, oh, I'm going to get, I'm going to yeah. get the bird. Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like, well, there are many, and I'm going to say many because my sister is in that category. My sister is a teacher or was this year. She's not. She's actually um, interning to be a principal. Um, but the counselors, I, I 
when Mally first got into for her freshman year of high school, she was telling the counselors, you know, she wanted to be in. No, oh, wow. This Phoenix. Is great. Phoenix. Um, I have just a zoo going on over here. Um, but Mally was talking to the teachers because she was in, you know, the basic level classes and we wanted her to be in AP classes and, you know, the harder, more excelled classes. And her counselor, when, she, when Mally went to talk to her, pretty much told her, well, you don't need to go in those. Those are only for kids who want to go to four-year colleges. I was freaking livid because how do you know that she's not going to go to a four-year college? And why are you discouraging any kids who are trying to get in, you know, a more accelerated class that, and discouraging them from it? I was mind blown. And believe me, I am one of those moms who marched myself right in there and said, what are you, what are you thinking? Like, why does it take me as a parent to have to go there to make sure that she's getting in the classes she should be in? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was, I, yeah, I, I'll never forget that. I almost pulled her from the school, um, but I don't have the luxury to have the time to homeschool her. On top of that, there is a, a level of social engagement that um, I feel like kids do need. They need that, um, that, and that's one of the only things that, you know, is, relatively good about school Phoenix we're gonna see, see murder <laughs> live on the podcast <laughs> you know that Kevin you guys Kevin jumped on my other cat's back and was like riding him and the cat freaked out not Kevin he was like <laughs> so excited <laughs> yeah. I can see him his face <sighs> as I'm looking in our screen. I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think what you, you bring up a I lot just, of interesting points there for sure, though, Holly, with that. I I think it's also super weird that we ask kids to decide if they're gonna go to college when they're in between their eighth grade and freshman year. Like, right. who knows? Let's let's mm -hmm. train them up the best wow. we possibly can yeah. and then see what ends up happening. So yeah. college, in my opinion, is overrated college i yeah i don't know what kind of job you're trying to get i mean it's well, not get, overrated for a doctor well true but you it get is a lot of plumber. kids that that fail are failing in high school or whatnot who are actually very talented kids but yeah. like you said before the schools aren't catering to the way they need to learn or the skills that they have because it's a program that is it just is in coast mode so those kids that go through failing a lot of those kids actually end up succeeding more than the kids that go to college. Mm -hmm. From well, what I've be, seen. It's gotta be hard too, because you have a classroom of like say 30 kids and they all learn differently. So it's hard to yeah for the teacher too to, to teach to those kids mm -hmm. for them to get it. But I would I would agree with that hundred percent. So I have to tell you right, guys. seven. What college is <laughs> right? Oh, that's a good question. Um my daughter is going into college this year. And we have been going through the whole process and all this good stuff, you know, how it goes. Um, I'm excited for her to go into college. She she knows, you know, she wants to go into forensics. Um, she's crazy, but I'm here for it. That is a job that you do have to go to college for. Now, what really, I guess when I was younger and going into college, what I just didn't think about, and now I do as a parent who has to pay for college, um, there are so many miscellaneous classes that have nothing to do with her actual degree mm -hmm. yeah. that I have to pay for. And that really right. pisses me off because she, they had her signed up, you know, they, they kind of do a pre-schedule for you mm -hmm. and they, they include classes that you absolutely need for your degree. And then you have to have like prerequisites, just some random ass classes. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. they put her into dance 101 and i was like oh that's gonna be fun you get to dance no it's a friction freaking lecture on dance. <laughs> like, it's a lecture yes, <laughs> it is a lecture i was thinking oh exercise or you get to dance and learn different routines and stuff wow. no it's, it's absolutely not that it is a lecture about dance and a total waste of time but she has to have something now she ended up going in hmm. an art class that is also a freaking lecture 
but it's better than her <laughs> learning about dance. She's more interested in art than she is into dance. So I, it just really, really boils my blood thinking about how much fluff they have to go through to get their actual degree when they're never going to use a lecture about dance ever, especially yeah. because they're not dancers. Like yeah. one question, Holly, hmm. how much do they charge per hour? Uh, it's a shit ton. You guys like that's <laughs> why they have to take those tests. Uh, those that's, classes. It's always it's money, all about them. That's all about the dollar bills it's, to me. Yeah, and that's she has to. I mean, for what she wants to do, you it's a required degree. You ha you mm -hmm. have to go through school to, to do that. And so but you I don't mean, have to take me, dance. Being good at a dance class is not going to make you a good forensic scientist. How about make them take only the classes that apply to their their degree? Wait, it wouldn't be four be, fucking years. Then you'd be able to graduate in four years. Now, or, or even teachers, years. like high school teachers cannot get their, oh, some of them can, but high school teachers cannot get their degrees in four years Kevin, anymore. Kevin's getting hurt. Right. <laughs> he was oh. he threw down on the ground and then... Phoenix was like hunting him. Uh, that was scary. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was a goner. <laughs>